that's James's wonderful deck dinner. Because um, I saved nasturtiums that are not alive in my garden anymore. I saved them in the fridge. So I have nasturtium leaves and flowers that he can put on his little tortilla bowls. And you can see what's in that. And uh, that's the mini tortilla bowl. And I have a funny story here. But you're probably wondering, what in the world is that bag doing there? Well... <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, I'll talk about that later. So I'm going to read my poems. I don't have movies to review today. Um, I don't feel like doing that. Anyway, I've been watching this French series. It's really good. I put off watching it and I don't know why. You know, Well, I, I guess I do because it's French. It has subtitles, so I have to actually watch it. And um, so I can't write poetry while I'm watching movies. So. Usually I kill two birds with one stone there. But I've been so tired lately, it's hard for me to write anyway. But I managed to write quite a bit. I did some dream journal uh, poems last night. So anyway, here's one of, one of them. It's a big long one. I don't know why it ended up long. Probably because I'm so tired. Because I haven't been, um, I've had a lot of insomnia. I wake up in the middle of the night. And usually around two or something. And um, which shouldn't be a problem because now that I've went through menopause, um, it seems I can sleep pretty much all the time. Whereas before, when like in my fertile years, I had to go to sleep at a specific time because I was going to wake up at around 4.30 in the morning and then I could do artwork or whatever, but um, I wasn't going to be able to sleep during the day. I had to, I had to sleep at specific times. I had to get to bed early or I wasn't going to because I knew I was going to wake up early and um, I wouldn't be able to catch up so then things I, it would just get worse uh, but now I can fall asleep but not lately and I James thinks it must be stress but honestly I don't feel stressed out anyway my the messages my angels gave me it's funny because um, they gave me all the messages that I usually get when I'm going to have a really bad day, like, um, remember it's all God, and, uh, what else? I can't, I can't remember. But I got, oh, um, notice sounds. That's always a great day, that means. <laughs> but today it didn't mean that, uh, probably, because I, um, they were probably telling me, Pay attention when you actually hear something happening outside, because it might actually be something important, or whatever. But what am I going to do about it anyway, when I hear somebody on the deck, or if the dogs do? I'm not going out here. Nope. <laughs> not in the middle of the night. Not in my neighborhood. Um, it's probably not a raccoon. Uh, so anyway. You can find yourself severely outnumbered, or yeah. severely, out, severely outnumbered. So, anyway. Here's my dream journal poem. I've been writing a lot of dream journal poems because I've been having interesting dreams. And my angel have told me, pay attention to your dreams. So um, I think I should. And so I had this dream called Cake Show, and which is amazing, right? I'm thinking, like James is thinking, oh, it's a problem when I can't sleep because like, what if I end up being going manic or something? But I have never done that. And no. I mean, I've had problems. No, oh, not catch. I've had problems with sleep in the past. And not getting never... it. And I haven't went right. So I think it's just you know people if they're prone to going manic or something, mm -hmm. then that'll set them off, right? Mm -hmm. It's just a stressor that'll set them off. But if you're not prone to that, I don't think it happens. You just don't sleep <laughs> for a while. Eventually, you do. But I I don't know what's causing it. James thinks maybe I should take GABA something but I don't know. Well, I think I should go before. for go for some hikes. Mm -hmm. I think I'm missing out on I was hikes, just honestly. thinking about That's that. What we haven't been doing. Uh, just a few seconds. Yeah. Ago. So I think if we go for a good hike, I think I'll have good sleep. Mm -hmm. Anyway, to what I was going to do, read Cake Show. Also what I was gonna mention is I'm obviously dreaming. I'm going into REM sleep, right? If I'm dreaming. Isn't that the case? So is that a problem? Do I have a problem? I'm obviously reaching that stage. It would be better if you've gone into deep sleep now, too. Okay, well, whatever. 
cake show. I set a piece of cake I had aside so I could get some more. It wasn't that my cake was bad, but there were so there were many cakes there for a cake show of some kind of cake. I thought my cake would wait for me since Grandma had been there to stay with it. I had more cakes to see. The chef who made a thimble cake, a chocolate tower that was art, was clearly hoping I would take a slice. I didn't have the heart to say he should have people sign a waiver that they wouldn't sue in case they choked. His cake looked fine. A splendid work of art, it's true. But thimbles used for cake design? I slipped from that chef's audience when someone stole his gaze from mine. Cakes must be food. It just makes sense. One cake was called hot caramel, which sounded good, but it was not. When I had sliced it, it just fell apart. The caramel was hot when layered there within the cake, but it had cooled to candy hard. I scooped up just a bit to take, but couldn't free a little shard of candy I could take away. I quickly learnt the hot was not referring to it anyway, but chili pepper, quite a lot. Inedible, not art, not cake. I had some samples on my plate and eagerly returned to take my seat to eat my cake. But wait, while I had set my cake aside, my cake had mostly disappeared. My grandma ate it, but denied she had. I set my new plate there beside my older, empty plate so I could get another of the first type, which had tasted great, it seemed. So many cakes to love. I turned my back on grandma then to get another slice of cake, but why'd I leave my cake again? I thought. I knew my grandma'd take my cake because my back was turned. I shrugged. I found I didn't care. I still had so much cake. I learned that there was ample cake to share. Though many wouldn't suit my taste, so many of the cakes there would. My first cake hadn't gone to waste, and Grandma tasted something good. I should have offered Grandma cake. If Grandma had her own, then would my cake been left alone for me? Why'd I abandon something good with expectations that it'd be there waiting for me patiently when I returned eventually? Why not enjoy the company of Grandma while she waited there? That cake thief who may never cease to steal my cakes? It's good to share, but I deserve to eat my piece of cake. I think she meant to say, you want your cake and eat it too. That saying silly anyway. What else would someone plan to do with cake but eat it? Well, unless that cake's a work of thimble art, hot caramel, or worse, I guess, it's fair, I should enjoy my part of what I have carved out as mine. My grandma could have got her own. Perhaps this dream had been a sign that I should choose to dine alone. My clothes that I hung out to dry were stolen from me late last night. This dream was warning me that my things walk when not within my sight. It also told me not to fear, accept abundance, take my slice of life and love it while it's here. If that slice goes, well, many nice desserts are waiting for me still. So I'll accept another slice of cake and eat until I've had my fill. My future cake is mine to take. <laughs> so, and I honestly, I don't know if that was what my cake dream was about. It might have been because I was thinking, well, why is my grandma in the dream? And um, she steals my slice of cake, right? And I was thinking, uh, I don't think that this is about my laundry, actually, even though I wrote this because that's what I was thinking at the time because I just went out and, and all of my laundry, I put all my laundry out because I had a flood in, I caused a flood <laughs> in my basement, just in a part, and because uh, I'm tired and I left water on and I'm like, I can hear water running <laughs> and I couldn't figure out where, anyway, yeah, if you hear water running, it's Do water running. It. <laughs> you know, you gotta find it. So, um, anyway, so I caused a flood, and so I took all my dirty laundry. I had two hampers, and one was full, and the other one was not. The other one was whites, and I don't wear a lot of whites and stuff. So basically, it's just like my tea towels and stuff, right? And so, um, like stuff for the kitchen or whatever. So anyway, I had these hampers, and. Uh, I thought, okay, that's what I'll use to sop up the stuff. The stuff's already dirty, I'm gonna wash it, whatever. So I sop it up in the basement and it's in 
filthy, you know, so the stuff's filthy, dirty to begin with, filthy to begin with, and then it's extra filthy, I'm sopping up water with this, so, anyway, so I bring the hampers, I, they're really heavy, they were totally, the stuff was totally soaked with water, right, because I'd, I'd really flooded it, so, um, anyway, I, Pebo and this stuff up each stair, it's like, uh, uh, and I got, and I drag it through the house, and, and onto the deck, and I hang each, item on on the deck rails all around so i have the items all around and i came out in the middle of the night i don't know i must have been watching angel or something because i don't want to leave her out because she would get eaten i've heard owls so anyway so i came out and i noticed my socks were still there i first i noticed the gate was open because they never close it they always went like if they steal mail it's the mailbox is open if they come through the gate and they never close it so that's what i noticed first that the gate was open then i noticed my laundry was gone and all that was left were my socks on the rail so they they hadn't just scooped it up quickly they decided oh i don't want socks so anyway so my laundry was gone and i was like well that must be what my cake dream was about right but i don't think it was because the thing is both my grandmas like my French grandma she just died not that long ago and often I find them just after dead people just after people that I love have died they're in my dreams and it's funny because this time grandma could talk because I think she said it's there like when I I sat down I'm like where's my cake and she's like there and and it, there was like crumbs in there and I'm like you ate my cake you know but uh, she was just like <laughs> whatever you know, don't care so anyway um, but she didn't seem happy with me in any case in my dream which is funny because she always seemed happy to see me but she wasn't in my dream and I think it might have something and it might have something to do with the stress too that I'm not conscious of but my sister sent me a posting for a job recently that would take me back to Grand Prairie and I am the person for the job I looked at the thing and I'm like yeah that's me so they wouldn't find anyone better and I know it and it's a hundred thousand dollars a year and you're probably sitting there going what you're making zero dollars a year apply for that and it's a great job, <laughs> great job. so but um, it would take me away from James and I and it would take me away from the work that I'm doing with James which is writing poetry going hiking in Waterton and and honestly I think grandma was saying you have cake cake don't go looking for another piece of cake or your cake is gonna disappear on you I think that's what she was saying now so what do you think about that or was it the laundry? It might be. I don't know. Could but in any both. case, the laundry returned. So I, <laughs> not all of it, because that, all of my laundry wouldn't have fit in this bag, because I had, like, the hampers, there were two of them in the, this tall, and the, yeah. the whites would have fit in this bag. They probably only half the bag. So they, they sorted it and returned? They returned what they didn't want. No. And they gave me a bag, which looks like a pretty good bag to carry food in. Oh, I well. don't know really what they were thinking. Because yeah. honestly, that laundry was gross. It was so dirty. Oh man! Nobody you don't would know want what it. they're getting you, into. Exactly. Like it would have been easier for them to just go to the thrift store and get. Or there's places in town that give out free clothes. You can you can get free clothes. You don't have to go take other people's clothes off. And I mean, they'd have to wash all of it. Why have it? You have to work to have it. Whereas you can go to some place that gives out free clothes and I mean you should still wash it. But I mean this, you've gotta wash this. Oh, this yeah. is disgusting. This is like anyway. So that's that's my that's my cake poem. And uh, oh I was gonna talk about it's funny because like how do you like those mini tortilla bowls? Yeah, James loves and I think it's it's interesting that so many people like mini things. You know, because um, a lot of the time, if you go to a fancier restaurant, you get a plate and there's like 
no food on it almost, right? You get the, if you go to uh, a cheaper restaurant, you actually get uh, more food. I've only had that happen to me once, I felt really bad. Well, yeah, people like us do feel bummed because we, yeah. we actually um, can't, you know, we're there to get food, we're hungry, you know, we're not there for some sort of cultural experience or something like that, right? Yeah. So um, it was in a place called Feinberg, yeah. north of Toronto, just kind of, it's probably going to get surrounded pretty quickly, with all the folks we're letting in from away, and uh, it's a, uh, you know, like a pastoral kind of setting and stuff like that. But they have a big art gallery out in the countryside. And of course, they'd have ritzy bitsy people there who'd want to eat fashionably. This was maybe in the 80s. And the fashion then get those huge big plates with uh, hardly any stuff in the middle of them. You paid full oh, I price. Know. It uh, happened to me. The funniest thing was the only time that that happened to me mm -hmm. when I bought food mm -hmm. was I went to a, it was a little fast food sort of, I don't know, it seemed like a mom and pop owned thing or whatever. And you'd think it'd be good. Like it wasn't a chain thing. But um, I mean, some of the best places that it, we've been to for fast food have not been chain places. They've, remember that place in Beauchesur? Wow, so awesome. That was nice. I like, you got huge servings of uh, amazingly greasy food that will clog your arteries probably, but whatever, it was so good. And... Um, I think we shared some of it with the uh, tornado. Oh, we would have, yeah. Mm -hmm. But anyway, this one time I went to a restaurant with somebody who uh, she loved going out to eat and she she was very generous she uh, buy me food and stuff like that she was always very nice to me that way uh, but she uh, we ordered so she probably would have bought that anyway for me but I was just I felt so pissed off like um, I ordered onion rings and I got three onion rings and I'm like what this is I'm I said to the woman that's the serving of onion rings and uh, she's like yeah and I said is it always three onion rings like is it always this small what where's the rest of it you know and I said I don't want this send it back I'm not I'm not paying for this and the woman that I was with was so embarrassed she did not like you know she um, she really liked being at restaurants and that's not something she would ever do right send something back but I, you served me three onion rings, you're getting that back. I'm not paying for it. <laughs> anyway. Sunny, but a bit miserable. Yeah, a bit windy.